just kind of review some of the classes of medications. So triptans are probably going to be first line for a lot of your patients. Relatively low side effects, but the disadvantages is often you can't get into that. You have to get the medicine in the system early. Some of them are expensive in some formulations. Nonsteroidals, of course, are great as an adjunctive medication. Uh, there may be less of a risk of rebound headache or medication overuse with NSAIDs. But of course, NSAIDs, especially with daily use, have a lot of side effects, uh, and they don't always work. Um, DAG or dihydroergotamine is an alternative to triptans for people that um, have daily headache or status migranosis, where they have migraines lasting for days. Uh, it may have less of a risk of medication overuse than the triptans. Um, the main issue is just the formulations that are available injections, it's an IM injection. Uh, it's also contraindicated in coronary artery disease or in patients with uncontrolled hypertension. And some of the formulations can be very expensive or may not be covered by insurance. Uh, the antiemetics, um, on the other hand, are helpful for nausea and also can work helpful as an adjunctive medication. But again, there's a lot of side effects to worry about, especially movement disorders and with chronic use and just sedation. Uh, opioids, uh, again, may be helpful in pregnancy, again, with infrequent use, no issues with uh, coronary artery disease, but of course, addiction or abuse, or in some cases, medication not working as well, or tachyphylaxis is an issue. Uh, barbiturates are probably not, most of the time should not be used. Um, barbiturates have a lot of potential side effects. They're actually quite um, addictive for some patients. Um, and uh, in general, we'll try to avoid barbiturates. Uh, they can be used, again, in patients who are, um, have a lot of other medical issues or contraindications. But again, we want to try to be very careful with barbiturate use. <music>